What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly five out and just get better floor spacing in general Um, this is obviously a video you guys have been asking for a lot You guys killed the like goal yesterday I said 100 likes in the first day and you guys almost have like I think it's at like 210 I think the last time I looked so yeah Thank you guys for all the support on that video So if you guys do enjoy this video do me a favor hit that like button would be greatly appreciated I still have a lot of good tip videos and tutorial videos for you guys coming this week so if you guys want to see those like i said be sure to leave a like um if you guys are new to the channel as well be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button we just hit 26k so big thank you guys a big thank you to you guys for that and uh yeah let's hop right into it so here on the lineup screen you guys can see like you know this is like my normal team of what i do have on my account and stuff like that um it's a little outdated but the point is it doesn't really matter who you're actually using on your team what actually matters is when you come over to the playbook here, you guys do have the Bucks playbook. Now, you actually can five out without this playbook, and that's what I actually do a majority of the time, but I'm going to get into that when we get into the actual gameplay. But the best playbook for five outing, and I will show you guys the best play in this to actually five out. Um, yeah, so again, the best playbook to actually use for five outing is going to be the Bucks playbook. Outside of that, the coach doesn't matter. The lineup doesn't really matter. Other than the fact that what I do really recommend is using guys that have really good releases like Brandon Roy, like Tony Parker, um, you know, Gilbert, DeRozan, whoever it may be, and then using a center that does have brick wall. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to score a little bit more efficiently using um, five out and stuff like that. But yeah, that's really the only like lineup tip I can give you guys is just make sure that your guards have a good jump shot with quick draw and then a center that has brick wall. So once the game loads up, what you actually want to do is you're going to come over to the offensive setting screen. Now, this is like really all it takes to five out in this game. It's really not that hard. So I'm going to be showing you guys two methods in this game to do it. Now, the first thing is it's actually going to be a play like I was talking about in the box playbook. It's fist 64 five out down. So that's going to be the first thing. You don't need to assign it to anybody or anything like that. The only other thing is I'm telling you guys to make sure that you keep is pass and screen away. It's very important that you guys keep that. When you come over to the uh, freelance, you're going to set this to the Hawks 2018 freelance. It's the most important one to do, in my opinion. Best way to five out. Um, it's definitely what I do that works so well for me. Um, outside of that, though, I do turn off my shot meter just because I shoot, obviously, a lot better with that. We are in a domination game here because, like I said in yesterday's video, I want to more cover, you know, I want to explain it to you guys and I want to talk through what I'm doing. And you know what? You never know what you're going to end up facing if you go online. So you're going to be hitting right on the D-pad. I talked about this yesterday. It's a little arrow things on the, on your you know controller. You're going to hit freelance and you're going to go to Hawks 2018 and then you're going to tap pass and screen away. You guys can see it opens up the floor entirely. So if you really wanted to, if somebody has, if somebody has a player on their court, or I mean on their team um, that doesn't have clamps, it's literally as simple as that where you can just do one simple dribble move, turbo to the rim, and you're good to go. You guys know that thing it's called like vc yeah don't buy that anymore what you really want to do is use code buy 2k at nba 2 kingcom and get five percent off your final order for cheap and reliable mt so again what you're going to do is when you call for this screen you're going to hezzy so you're going to hold this turbo button and you're going to flick your stick into the screen and you're going to do that little like you know hesitation move into the screen and do this so when they hit the screen you're going to go hit up on the d-pad or not on the d-pad you're going to hit up on the right stick as well that'll do a hesitation so your guys will your guy will completely stop and when he does that you will get that wide open three now that is honestly one of the easiest ways to score now again i'm going to be bringing you guys videos on how to stop all this stuff to kind of counter everything just so you know if you do go up against somebody that is spamming and stuff like that you can stop it but again you flick it into the screen and if it doesn't work right away that's okay it's literally just as simple as doing it over and over again has he pull that and as long as you're good at greening that shot you will be able to get that nine times out of ten now also why this is so effective is because like i said i'm just gonna try to let the computer score here if they you know want to hurry up um what's so effective about this is when you continuously do that what's actually gonna happen is people are gonna try to like hedge up on you a little bit you know what i'm saying like they're gonna try to cover the three game a little bit more which actually works out because when you do it like this now you're gonna actually have this mismatch in the paint the computer plays a little bit differently than how people online would but the point is you guys will get the mismatch with you know your center and their point guard so also what ends up happening is if you can get a good slip animation which if you don't know what i'm talking about basically when you call for a pick and roll in that situation if you know your guy rolling to the basket slips through the two people that are standing there you actually will get a wide open layup which actually works out very nicely so again i'm going to show you guys this one more time we're going to hezzy we're going to hit the screen here and then right here you guys will see bill russell actually gets a pretty good slip and a good dunk animation 
So I do recommend as soon as you inbound the ball, always just hit pass and screen away because it immediately like spaces the floor. You can hit this quick little behind the back move and basically guarantee yourself some corner threes as well because what happens is when you do that behind the back move, it spreads everybody out and, or, well, no, I'm sorry. When you hit pass and screen away, it spreads everybody out. Then when you hit the behind the back move and you get that blow by animation, literally it just opens up the floor. So if somebody helps down, you're automatically gonna be getting a wide open dunk. So again, every time I grab the ball, I do that really quick, hit this behind the back move. And unfortunately, Bill Russell cuts in, but we're still gonna get a good dunk animation. So when you're playing online, people obviously are gonna play it a little bit differently. Um, but it's actually more beneficial online because when you're playing online, people do settings or whatever. So what actually ends up happening is people will stay on their guy. So, you know, you guys can see like when I run around screens and stuff, the computer always helps out and whatnot. And like that obviously doesn't happen online. What actually happens online more is like when you hit the screen off a of hesitation, it actually will give you a, um, it'll actually give you more of a wide open chance at knocking down like the three. So I'm going to show you guys this one more time with Brandon Roy right here again of what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do like a close up or something and show you guys a little bit easier of how to do this hesitation move. So again, we're going to call for the screen. We're going to hit this hezzy. He's going to hit the screen up on the deep or up on the uh, stick wide open for three. So I actually, like I said, I want to do a close up of this. So again, the turbo button in the back of the controller, that's this. You guys obviously know the button you use to sprint. So when you hit that, you're going to flick the right stick, the right stick. You're going to flick whatever way the screen is. You're just going to hold it and flick it. Now, when you flick it, yeah, that's when you want to push this stick turbo around the screen. And then you're going to flick back up on this stick. So everything is to do with the right stick aside from when you're moving. So again, I'm going to show you guys right here what I'm going to do for you guys or what I'm like talking about here. So we're going to just flop again, let Westbrook do whatever. So again, we're going to get this ball really quick. Same thing, we're gonna call pass the screen away. Now, when he comes and sets the screen, like I said, you're gonna hold turbo, you're gonna flick the stick, turbo around the screen, up, and then you're gonna shoot that shot. Now, obviously, that one was a little bit more contested. We still make it anyway. But um, yeah, you guys, like I said, you guys can see what I'm talking about. I just wanna make sure I can give you guys like a little bit of a close up because I do want you guys to be able to do this. It is a very effective method. A two five outing is to actually get that, um, like that hezzy into the screen. So, same thing here, we're gonna call for the screen. We're gonna hezzy, we're gonna hit the screen. We're gonna go up on the stick, wide open, another easy green three. Now this next option, what I'm gonna show you guys is actually you wanna kinda do with somebody a little bit bigger. Um, and that is the fist 64 five out thing. Like, so when you do this, it actually immediately spaces out this floor. And this is how you actually kind of get the corners open and stuff like that. This is more if you want to be attacking the rim, the pass and screen away thing I like doing, because like I said, you don't need a playbook to do the pass and screen away. So when you do that, what actually, like I said, ends up happening is you can actually run, you know, the Miami heat playbook while you're running the five out thing. This fist 65 or six. Okay. Whatever the hell the play call is. Like I said, you guys can see everybody's kind of bunched up together, but it is for more of attacking the rim and clearing out the paint. Um, when people do help down, it does actually give you a little bit more of chances to, um, like I said, attack the paint rather than, you know, try to get those wide open threes. So that's really why I don't like doing this one as much because what I like to do is more, you know, hit the hezzy into the screen and get that wide open three. Attacking the rim is cool, but you know, threes are better than twos. I'm gonna show you guys one more time here. Like I said, what I'm talking about, we're gonna call it for the screen. You're gonna do this. And literally it's that simple of getting a nice little rim run. You're gonna get wide open. I mean, you still, like I said, will get the corners open. Um, much like much, like a majority of the time when you do this, like I said, you're really basing it off of getting, you know, help from the corners or whatever it may be. Um, so, I mean, when you do this, if you have a guy like Giannis with slashing takeover, it's gonna be very hard to stop because like I said, you do this, you get them stuck on a screen and you guys can see it's just it's just blow by city you're gonna get to the rim every single time and realistically the only way to prevent this stuff from happening is to rotate from the corners um unless you know you guys will see what i'm talking about in the video i'm gonna be bringing you guys this week of how to shut all this stuff down um but yeah it kind of opens up the floor and stuff like that so if you guys are watching this video and you know because it happens every time i make tip videos like this people go oh way to make this game more toxic than it already is there's ways to stop everything. This stuff really isn't all that hard to stop. I promise you. 99, like everybody watching this video right now, like I could show you guys all this stuff and that doesn't mean they're gonna have it down perfectly just because they're watching this video. So believe me, there's counters to all this stuff. So this is just a tutorial on showing you guys how to five out and actually get to the rim and get some wide open threes. One last time though, I'm gonna show you guys, I do like the pass and screen away option when it comes to running 
this screen and actually hitting like the hezzy because like i said that right there is the perfect thing of what i was talking about before about the slip you get wide open for easy dunks too like i said it's actually easy to stop once you kind of get used to it and stuff like that but you just got to know how to do it which stay tuned for that video because i'm going to bring it to you guys very soon i hope you guys did enjoy that video be sure to let me know down below in the comments if this video did help you guys out if you have any questions feel free to let me know like i said down below as well um yeah that's basically it. i just want to let you guys know too i am going 12 and up for people again i've been streaming them the past week um and they've been going actually pretty well so i'm not gonna lie i would love to actually help you guys out and do them you obviously do have to pay and it is ps4 only so if you guys are interested feel free to hit me up obviously you don't feel inclined to you don't have to it's completely understandable um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Hey guys, before this video ends, I did just want to let you guys know that I did recently get partnered and obviously most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to be live streaming almost every single day, all day, um, depending on whatever we're playing. Um, well, obviously just depend on my mood for that day, but my Twitch is on the screen, twitch.tv slash bio2k with an underscore and you guys can see it on the screen. Um, and then also, obviously I do have a Twitter. If you guys want to drop a follow over here as well, the links to both of those are going to be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, peace.